Coach, recent rankings have us first in the region. Does that put added pressure on the team for the final two games of the season? Um, no, not really. We don't really even talk about the rankings that much inside the team. We're just worried about the next game, to be honest with you. Uh, we know that if we take one game at a time and um, take care of business the way we're supposed to and we feel we should, um, those things kind of sort themselves out. Are the players aware of the rankings? And if so, how do you keep them focused on playing out the regular season? I'm sure the players are aware of the rankings, obviously, with internet. Uh, they can get on any time and take a look. They're, they're all intelligent kids and know how to find that stuff out. Um, but at the end of the day, we're, we uh, talk about, you know, we want results, we're gonna get results. But at the same time, we've gotta keep it all in perspective. We don't wanna be too high. We won't, really don't wanna get too low either. Uh, we just want to just keep uh, forging forward and getting better each week and playing quality soccer. We were down 2 nothing against Saginaw, but came back to tie the Cardinals 2-2. Talk about the determination of our guys to secure the tie. That's Yeah, that's exactly what it was, determination. Our first half in both games over the weekend, Friday and Sunday, we weren't at our best. Um, and we weathered the storms the teams uh, gave us and then uh, made some adjustments at halftime as good teams will do and need to do in order to get themselves back in a game. And uh, that's exactly what we did do. We, uh, we were just well, really well more determined on Sunday um, than I've probably seen us all season with our backs against the wall. So I was real proud of the guys, the way they handled the second half, got themselves back in it, um, and gave themselves a chance to win the game in, uh, in overtime. How important has the depth been this season, and will you continue to rotate players the same way if playoffs come our way? Uh, well, we've been fortunate that we've been injury-free all season, um, and we brought in a quality class of eight or nine guys, and four or five of those guys are playing significant minutes, um, and they've been doing that all season. So the freshmen have come in and have gained some experience in each and every game, um, and we've been using a lot of them uh, for substitutions, um, from a substitution standpoint, they've been getting it done for us. So we're, uh, we're not going to change much as far as how we sub, when we sub, who we sub. Uh, it's, it's a rhythm we're in, and we're going to continue to go with it. We have Finley and Walsh this weekend, two teams we beat earlier this year. What are your final thoughts heading to the end of the season? Um, two big games, um, and we're going to take one at a time. Um, we are in control. We know we're in control, um, and, we, and we want that. We don't want to have to... Um, deal, you know, res hold our hopes on somebody else doing the work for us to get where we want to go. So um, Finley's going to be a tough challenge. They've been knocking off some quality teams here the last few weeks. Uh, fortunately, we get them at home. Um, and then uh, we'll go to Walsh on Sunday and, and give them our best shot. Um, I like how we've been playing, too, on the road, playing really consistent, really sharp um, all season. So I'm, I'm looking forward to each challenge. All right, thanks. Good luck this weekend.